Welcome to Valuing the Week on Saturday the 4th of July and this is indeed quite a, a special one because this is going to be our last Valuing the Week as things are changing in the country and they will be changing in the church as we'll be uh, talking about a little bit later. We've been kind of looking back haven't we at um, at these Valuing the Weeks that we've been doing mm. and um, and just kind of remembering um, in terms of our values, the, the thankfulness, graciousness, openness and prayerfulness, we've been uh, just thinking about um, how we've been seeing those values at work in uh, the life of our church community. So for thankfulness, we had uh, some wonderful news about new babies being born and uh, so new life coming to the church and also giving thanks for some very special people who've been members of our church for a long time who have now passed on and, and are with the Lord. So that was really special, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, and prayerfulness as something that has been like a golden thread, really, that's run through um, everything that we've been doing um, in the last few months. Um, and a couple of weeks ago, we um, gave some examples of uh, from one of the prayer stations as the church has been open for private prayer um, of people who are asking for prayer for their front lines, people who haven't been able to stay at home. They have needed to go out. They have needed to do their jobs and they've been facing some real challenges. And it was a privilege uh, to be able to share some of their prayer requests yeah. and enter into the life that they, they've been living. Yeah, absolutely. And then the, uh, the values of openness and graciousness. Remember hearing from Tim about his openness to God following tragic accident that he had, finding uh, what he was looking for in, in relationship with, with Jesus through the Alpha Course. And indeed, at the moment, Alpha Courses, is, stories are coming out about the way in which that openness with each other is, uh, is really making a, a, an impact, a difference uh, in people's lives. And in terms of graciousness, uh, we've heard from Paul and Jamie, our treasurer, about the way in which people are entering into the grace of giving and showing such generosity in different ways. We're still in that hugely challenging financial situation and uh, and just but, but being grateful that there is that uh, generosity that is flowing through the life of the church in so many different ways mm. so those values and valuing the things that people are doing and valuing the opportunities that lie ahead mm. as well so we are going to be taking a break um joe and i for a couple of weeks and when we come back it's July the 19th and that will be our first uh, Sunday when um, we are going to be back in church and the service will be streamed from Christchurch for those people who are unable to get there. Yeah, we've been doing a lot online as churches all over the country have been doing because we haven't been able to gather in church. And I think this is a great thing that uh, people are now have that opportunity to come together and indeed it's something that the Bible encourages us to do uh, as an integral part of what it means to be church, mm. to be gathered as well as scattered. In Hebrews 10 uh, the writer speaks about uh, do not uh, give up that habit of meeting together as some are doing but rather encourage one another to do that. Mm. Uh, and I can see there's a lot of people uh, around the country who might e be tempted to sort of got out of the habit mm. of coming to church. Uh, and we, uh, as a church, want to encourage one another, I think, to say, come on, let's, let's go to the house of the Lord. Let's, let's be part of this gathered church again, mm. which is so dynamic and so exciting. So mm. on that, that first uh, Sunday, we look forward to seeing lots of people together. Mm. Uh, it will be in a, in a safe way, but it'll still, uh, the church will still hold a fair number of people uh, to do that. So that would be really good. So uh, as you know, a few weeks ago we said we were going to be asking different members of our team um, about uh, what they've been learning during the uh, lockdown period and how their particular ministry has been going forward um, in new and creative ways during this time. Mm. And uh, so, yeah, now we're gonna hear from Diane. Hi everyone, I'm here to give a brief snapshot of what life has been like during lockdown, particularly within youth ministry. Now it's great to be back here in the youth hub, a place pre-COVID that was just bursting with life, with fun and with chatter, 
with teaching and with worship, as our photo boards will testify. So what will the 2020 photo boards look like? So far, our planned 2020 youth programme has been cancelled. Our 2020 youth weekends to Lee Abbey cancelled. 2020 mission trips cancelled. And 2020 noise cancelled. However, we've still been able to show God's love in practical ways. Uh, one Sunday morning at the beginning of lockdown, our young people made rainbow signs for our front doors and our bins as a way of saying thank you to those key workers, our postal workers and refuse collectors. We've also partnered with Christians Against Poverty and encouraged our young people to donate to the CAP Food Bank. For three of our groups, we covered the Bible Society's excellent eight-week Bible course. We purchased and delivered 44 manuals to our youth team and young people. So one of the Bible courses was for our youth team, which is an amazing group of volunteers who give and give every week, being there for the young people. So it was so good to just stop and to gather there for each other around God's word. It's been a real lockdown highlight for me bringing the team even closer and then we had uh, two bible courses for our young people one for years six to eight and one for years nine and above uh, again it's been a really special time and i let them tell you all about it i thought it was quite helpful to sort of understand the bible and how it's relevant today it was really good and it made me engage with christ and like it i read the whole bible and it felt really nice to have it like explained and things like that um it's very good and very educational and uh, learned a lot about the bible throughout the past couple of weeks you know it's it's really accessible so i think it's quite nice as a youth leader because when we're leading we can sort of uh, ever so slightly alter things to fit with the different age groups Um, I think for me it's really good that we can still be together as a youth group even though we're in these times of lockdown and quarantine and it's good to be able to share our faith with each other. I thought the Bible course was really good, thank you. Yeah, it's inspired me to take RE as a um, GCSE subject next year. Amazingly, more people attended via Zoom than attended our weekly meetings here at our home groups in the youth hub. Now our young leaders, Jonas, Sam and Ellis, have created Ignite United weekly videos for our young people with the aim of reuniting with the hundred or so young people with whom we met every week in our outreach ministry through our youth groups and our after school drop-ins. So going forward we're going to be running the Flourish and Courage self-esteem courses which we run in our local secondary school for our young people. Um, we're going to be running four groups each week. It's a six week course, so it's two for the boys and two for the girls. The school has mentioned this in the newsletter, so we're hoping to see, see a lot of young people come along. It's been amazing to see how the youth ministry has flourished during lockdown, a real deepening of relationships with one another and a deepening of relationship with God. So we just want to say thank you for all your prayers. So finally, um we just come back to uh, our value of prayerfulness and as I said before you know it has been this thread that has that has run through everything that uh, that we've been doing and uh, like many other ministries we've been exploring new and different ways to do that mm. so yeah do you want to say about the 24 one, 24 7? So <laughs> yeah I mean, we seem to every week we seem to be talking <laughs> about different things that we're doing as a church offering opportunities for prayer and, and people have so appreciated the, the prayer that has been going on for one another. And for us personally, uh, it has uh, meant a great deal and it's shown us uh, how significant it is to have people praying uh, in our family situation at the moment uh, with our little grandson Huxley. And, and to be able to have that support mm -hmm. is absolutely wonderful. We are been praying for all sorts of things, all sorts of people, uh, one of whom is Kathy Prosser, who uh, has uh, been testing her vocation, a call to ordination, 
uh, in recent weeks and it's been a long and testing journey for her but uh, we're so glad that she has now been accepted for ordination training and we'll be starting that in September so mm -hmm. we continue to pray for Cathy and her family too. Just also to say that the, the church uh, will continue to be open for private prayer. It has been every single day and we're in, in the week and we are really, really grateful to those people that have made that possible, have manned the church so that it can be open. Um, but it will continue to be open on a Wednesday afternoon between uh, 2.30 and 4.30 and on a Sunday evening now. So there'll be a, a, another opportunity to, to come together in the church uh, for people between seven and nine and at eight o'clock there will be a short um, act of worship um, that will be led uh, often known as Compline or night prayer so um, yes it's a good yeah. place to end on prayer isn't yeah. it so that's that's starting from the sixth that uh, new pattern of the church being open but yeah we uh, we're so grateful and thank you for for listening and to sharing some of the things that we've been involved with and for those who contributed to these Valuing the Weeks, we pray that uh, as we move forward into church in, in a new normal, that people will be, continue to give thanks, to pray continually, to uh, be gracious to one another and open to the Lord mm. uh, as we seek to his leading and his guiding into the future on these uncharted territories. Bye-bye mm. for now. See you soon. God bless you. Bye-bye. Thank you.